everybody loves a good binge session, so as we head into 2018, there couldn't be a better time than now to crack open another box set. However, just how long does it take you to watch your favorite show? From those who tune in every year to watch Game of Thrones to those who religiously grew up with friends, starting and finishing a TV show is no small feat to undertake. Obviously, it is hard to squeeze in a marathon watch while holding down a full-time job, but now it's possible to know exactly how many working days you would need to take off to complete your latest TV addiction. AT&T has released its streaming consumption calculator as a handy tool to work out just how much of your life you are spending sitting in front of the box. Pulling from 50 well-known TV shows, it has stats up until the middle of 2017, as well as figuring out how much data you would burn through to watch all of Supernatural's 12 seasons. It also tells you how long you would have to sit square-eyed to complete that mind-bending puzzler that was ABC's Lost. Not for the faint-hearted, you would have to take 28.68 hour working days off to head to Springfield for all 29 seasons of The Simpsons, 9.1 working days to take a quest to Westeros for Game of Thrones or stick on a sharp suit for Mad Men, and less than one working day to solve the murder mystery of Big Little Lies. However, for those who are more into 24-hour viewing and just want to get it over and done with, it would take less than half a day to finish the first season of Westworld, 3.5 days of continuous viewing for all of Sons of Anarchy, and a whopping 15.6 days straight to complete Law & Order SVU- Now that's what you'd call dedication. It may seem like a shocking amount of hours and days to put away staring at a screen, but remember that most of these shows have gone on for years, with viewers remaining loyal or dipping in and out. Grey's Anatomy has clocked up an impressive 204 hours of death and destruction. So even if you watched two hours a night, it would still take nearly three months to see all the tears and tantrums of the Grey Sloan Memorial Hospital. While it is all well and good imagining a perfect world where your boss tells you to go home and put your feet up until you've seen Brian Cranston go full Heisenberg and finish Breaking Bad, it isn't likely to be a job you'd get to do unless you are a TV critic. Source, A.